Hello guys, here is Marcus, and today I'm going over something that probably some of you have missed. Terraria has accessory slots, a total of five originally, and then we got a sixth one for the the expert um, portion of the game. So unless you are an expert, you can't really use this actual accessory. However, I've come to something interesting, and I probably haven't made a video about it, or at least not a complete one, that there is a seventh slot in the works. Uh, it's not being used, per se, by the game, uh, but there is a way to make it work, and to prove that it even exists in the first place. As you can see in my current um, setup, I've got, because I'm on a server, five uh, Stardust plates, of course, my sixth one is not really equipped with anything. But how do we know what's in the seventh? Well, in order to do that, I'm going to have to open up a, a tool, unfortunately. One in particular is the um, cheat engine. So how am I going to show it to you? Well, let me go ahead and just open up my player. As you can see, here's my name. Though That's my health, my real actual health in the game and of course all the other information. So let's go ahead and go down to inventory and I had it already set up. The seventh slot is down here. Currently the seventh slot has exactly the same item that I have in all the other ones except for the sixth and you can see the sixth one is zero. There's nothing in it. Uh, to prove that we can actually see what item we're going to do, let's go ahead and search an item that we want to use. Let's say the um, how about the papyrus? Uh, if I can even st papyrus scarab, if I can even spell it right. And here's the ID. So the ID is one eight six four. That's the ID of this specific item. Now, of course, it's not expert, so I'm gonna have to turn expert on quickly. Put that right in into the slot. Turn expert off because we are on a server, and I don't want to ruin everybody else's game. And let's go ahead and open up cheat engine and look at this. Here you can see the 186 accessory slot is now equipped. Of course there's no prefix. That's obvious. We didn't add one. And you can tell the addresses seem to be familiar. Because let's face it, in a game everything is pretty much clustered together wherever it belongs. And since all the, except for the sixth one surprisingly, but that's because that specific one only activates on expert. Now, the seventh slot. How do we know that this seventh slot really works? Uh, well, we can do it one way. The best way I can think of to show what really the seventh slot works is let's do something I just figured out. I had a spore sack in my seventh slot. Now, you can't actually physically put the seventh slot in there, so that's not going to work. You can use an external tool like the um, inventory editor that's available on the forums, or in this case I'm going to use T-Shock to do it intentionally. I'm going to set my ACC, this is a command that I created myself, to the seventh slot. Now this item, let's first show what it actually does if it wasn't in the actual accessory. This thing causes spores on screen. You can see this happening right now. But if you remove it, so do the spores and they don't come back. So let's go ahead and put this accessory in the seventh slot. It disappears. We don't know where it went. It just says successfully switch Stardust plate to accessories, which is actually wrong. I have to fix that myself. But it took out the um, Stardust that I had in there. Now back on Cheat Engine, if we look at it, you can tell that the spore sack is an ID of 3336. <clears throat> and we know for a fact that this one is now functional. But it's not working. We're not seeing any spores. Why is that? Because Terraria didn't have this one programmed to be counted part of the game. I'm guessing they either dumped it in there for future purposes or they scrapped it. There are various items in the game that are no longer being used but they're still there and there's also items that are unobtainable but are still there so this could be the same concept here but under the speculation that it is going to be a future update 
how do we see this accessory get actually used? Well, I have a feature in Cheat Engine that allows me to turn on all the slots to be active. Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to click that feature on my Cheat Engine, and there you go. You'll notice now that the accessory is actually working, and it's killing enemies as well. It's actually functional. So if I move around, let me get rid of my raven. It's killing mobs. And of course the server's keeping up with it too, so that's a good thing. Now, of course, because I turned this feature on, it also counts the um, social slots. You can see now that social slot doesn't actually say, oh, this is equipped in the social slot, so no, no, no stats will be applied to you. Well, that's not the case, unfortunately. In this case, we can only see all the way down to the sixth slot, but we can't see the seventh. But we know it's working because the spore sack was put in the seventh slot. So it really is a question, why on earth was there a seventh slot added into the game? And is Relogic Team going to make it a functional accessory? There are some balancing issues with the game, like summoners are extremely weak. If you play an expert with a summoner, you're going to have a bad day. Of course, you're going to have to try something more recreational, like making a mechanical system. Uh, having a mount is one important factor too, like the unicorn would be a good idea, and then have a really long, long, long platform so you can continuously run and continuously attack your enemy. That's the only way you're going to survive an expert as a summoner. As for the other classes, they can survive expert on a good strategy, but if you're dealing with magic and summoners, they need a lot of help. So being online with a couple of people is probably one way of doing it, the simple way. Because you need a party, or you try to make some kind of mechanical creation and fight your boss. Now, I do not think players see the 7th slot activity. So I'm going to ask this guy. Do you see my spores? I asked this guy if he can see my spores, because there's spores flying around. I don't think he does. I don't think he should be able to, because the game, the server, doesn't really register that the seventh slot exists, just like the client doesn't. He's not even answering yes or no, so I don't think he even understands the question. Well, okay, no, he does not. Which makes sense because the server itself can't be sending this information because the seventh slot is not being checked. The way they have it set up is it checks the first three to eight slots and the ninth as an extra slot if you have expert mode on and you have that. Uh, I believe it's called the demon heart. Yeah, if you have the demon heart, that's what's going to do. It'd be interesting to know if this will ever get patched, fixed. I'm going to restore my 7th slot back to my Stardust. And you'll notice the Spore Sack is coming out of it, which is obvious because that's the one I put in there. And now, of course, the spores don't work. I'm going to go ahead and turn off that cheat engine patch. So now, if I put it back, no spores because the game code does not recognize it. But this is one way of proving that the seventh slot does exist. No, there is no eighth slot, because the eighth slot is actually up here, the Lunar Cultist Hood. And that's the ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, and then we got a seventh. We don't know why that's like that, but that's how it's being made. Um, I hope they do something that allows you to have more accessories, maybe even create something new with the slot system perhaps that allows you to combine numerous items into one package or something like that. But there you have it, there is a seventh slot. It's not possible to use it unless you use a modded client, uh, some kind of external feature like I did, or manipulate the game altogether with a server like this. Uh, I'm using T-Shock as that's available for anyone. Right now, T-Shock will not be available for the new patch that just came out, which is 1.3.2. That's the one I'm on as well. But it will get updated, and maybe in 1.3. Who knows what version we'll get some kind of information on why that 7th slot ever existed. Until then, and as always, 
don't be a dick. Hit escape and quit, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then.